Now that we have the database tables created, we'll create the interface that Scott can put things in the tables from this project. So I'm going to go to the Add Product page, grab a Details view from the Data section. And then talk to his Rob and choose the data source. Make this an access database. Choose our runner sold database. Then we'll go and choose the right table. We want the products table. And then we also want to make sure that we generate the insert queries because this will be the interface for adding new records in the product. So we'll finish that. The other thing, it looks like I'm stuck inside my H2 for this. So I want to take this details view and the data source here. Cut it out of the H2 there. Get it out of the heading. And paste it here. Okay, then I also want to do a little bit more in design view. I want to talk to Rob for the details view and enable inserting because again we're using this for adding new records. Then I want to go to edit fields and I want to make the new and insert button look like an actual button. Then I also want to make sure for the ID field that we can see it when we're in insert mode. So we'll check this insert visible, set this to true say OK. And then the last thing I want to do is make sure I'm on the details view, go to the properties over here, and in the default mode I want to set this instead of reader only where we have to say insert new record, I just want it to be in insert mode already. So that's it. The last thing I want to do is set the width on this, um, but I'm actually going to do that from source view. I come here to the details view and set the width on that. I'm going to try 600 pixels. I can't remember how wide we made our container here, so not quite wide enough. Uh, we'll make that a little wider. Okay, so close enough. 